We're going to get this thing to run one day. Um, last we were in with part three of the Kenmore Dehumidifier Saga. The unit still wouldn't start properly with the replacement capacitor, but we don't know if that was actually good or not. So Sharky's not here. Um, I'm going to just play with this myself today. I'm just going to pull the cap and hook the other one up in tandem again. The dehumidifier hasn't run in about a week. And I just want to see if it's going to start with both caps in circuit without any problem. So let's get that hooked up and we'll see what happens here. Okay. It's in circuit. The wattage reading is going to be all off and wrong and bad stuff and all that, but let's see if it will start by itself with the two caps hooked up. Right on, man. Right on. Now again, that's real high. Probably just take this right out of circuit now. Right down. Right on. That's all it took. Just get that where it won't short. The wires are rubbing a little bit there. There we are. Yeah, that took nothing to start up. What you just saw there, if you did see a light blink in the fan lower in speed was the central air kicking on. But yeah, right where she needs to be. That's kind of a cool day. Again, I haven't attempted to start this thing in a week or so, so... Yeah, definitely with a good cap, this will uh, this will fire right up. So it's absolutely been diagnosed as being a bad capacitor at this point. So <clears throat> and now we're going to find a you know a real replacement and uh, button her up, and that's it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time.